So here is that satellite and radar. Pretty quiet for pretty much everybody except for a few isolated locations right now in northern Minnesota. Notice as we uh, take a closer look in here, we do have that one strong storm there just north and east of Grand Forks. Seeing now some more organized lightning activity on that particular storm as well. And one just north of Roseau at this hour just across the Canadian border. But looking at a cross section of this storm here near the Warren area, looks like it's only getting up to about 20,000 feet, at least the uh, hail core of that particular storm where you'd be most likely to see those hail, uh, little hail balls develop. Uh, but of course, uh, very shallow storms what we're seeing. Nothing like the storms we've seen for the past couple of uh, weeks where they've been topping out around 50,000 feet. So these are some shallow storms that we're seeing, but still could see some small hail in that storm just south and east of Warren. And of course, watching this one as it makes its way toward the south and east out of Canada. So for our friends in Roseau, for our friends in War Road, watch out for this one as that is moving toward the Canadian American border here in the with probably within this hour. And that could be, of course, heading toward our friends in the War Road area as well. We'll see if the American uh, Weather Service decides to follow the Canadian Weather Service and make that a severe thunderstorm as well. But again, the Canadian criteria for severe thunderstorm is a bit lower than the American one. So here, what we're seeing for the severe thunderstorm watch, this does include our friends in Grand Forks, even into extreme eastern parts of North Dakota, down through Bemidji, Thief River Falls, even uh, for our friends in Detroit Lakes included in this, Bedette as well. But I do expect most of the brunt of the activity, the storm activity, to be focused from, say, uh, the Thief River Falls area down toward Bemidji, and perhaps even down just south of Bemidji as well. But of course, anywhere in this watch, you need to make sure you have a plan in case one of these severe storms does decide to head toward your area Area. And of course, a great time to have that VNL weather app because you can actually track the radar on our VNL weather app as well. So for northern Minnesota, you can see the yellow there. That's the slight risk of severe weather. And that does in not include Grand Forks, but it does include areas like Lake of the Woods and Bemidji. That slight risk is two out of five on the severe weather risk scale. Here's what we're looking at for, of course, those impacts. Large hail up to two inches in diameter and high winds over 65 miles per hour. The primary concern is not too concerned with uh, flooding. These storms are moving fast enough, but uh, an isolated tornado is not out of the question in any of these storms if they do indeed develop and become severe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's how things look on the hour by hour. You can see those storms making their way through northern Minnesota. These ones coming out of Roseau and coming out of the Grand Forks area as well, heading toward the Thief River area and Bemidji. Now, still some questions to exactly which path these storms will take, but anywhere in northern Minnesota toward Bemidji should be on the lookout, especially towards 7 o'clock, as you could be seeing these severe storms or some strong storms heading toward your neck of the woods there in Beltrami County. But then by 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, you can see most of them exiting off toward the south and east. But for our friends in, say, Wadena, these storms may come close to you there in the Wadena area by the 9 o'clock hour. But notice things really do quiet down after that. And we'll just be watching overnight hours for some fog to develop in the morning hours for Sunday. Temperatures in the 50s for tomorrow morning. And then by lunchtime, plenty of sunshine again. Temperatures warming into the 70s and nicely there for our Sunday. A few wafting clouds there in the afternoon, but really nothing to be concerned about there for the day on Sunday. So for the next couple days, we're quiet for Sunday, up around 80 for Sunday and Monday. And we stay quiet even through most of next week as well. Katie, it's not till late next week. Heat and humidity do return, so we could have some showers and storms late next business week as well. Overall, a pretty good looking week, though. Oh, yeah, exactly. All right. Thank you, Nathan.